All right, guys, today we're going to be doing the carburetor and fuel lines on a Troy built TB430 uh, blower. Um, all the parts will be in the description below. Um, carburetor, um, fuel lines, everything are underneath here. I think it's got everything you'll need to do this job. Um, yeah, I'll just click on the link in the description. You'll find that you'll find that whole set. Uh, okay, so first thing we're gonna do is uh, pull off this air filter cover. Of course, there's no air filter in there. It should be an air filter in there. Um, flathead or T25 Torx. We're gonna take these two screws out right here. We're gonna pull this air filter assembly right on out. Big deal. And then uh, this throttle link comes right out. Let's go ahead and uh, cut the fuel lines. We don't care which one's which. I'll tell you which one's which later on. Cut them, get this guy right on out of the way. Look at this. Look at that. That's the freaking diaphragm. This isn't the right carburetor, is it? Oh, it might be. This diaphragm gasket. Somebody fucked with this shit. That's not right at all. Alright, whatever. Somebody been in it. They screwed it up. Good job. Take a drain all the gas out of this. The filter and lines out of the tank. Line into a point. We're going to stick it in the furthest away hole. You know, the I guess closest to the engine one. We're going to shove that one down in there. You know, about an inch. Just get it in. You know, just get it inside. That's going to be our return line. Let's get a uh, new carb up against uh, this so you can get a guesstimate of where the fuel line goes to and then cut it to length. Into a point again. Go ahead and put it in this hole. And then this time we're going to go all the way through and we're going to pull it all out the tank, you know, about so far. Just like that. Cut the tip off. And then we're going to take the uh, fuel filter and stab it on. Push the filter down in the bottom. Make sure it gets down in the tank there, and it sits in the middle on the on the, on the bottom. The long line is going to be the one that's got your filter. We're going to go ahead and hook the throttle on, like like that. All right, look, let me show you again. Just get it pushed in, and around, go like that. Then we're going to put the uh, choke assembly back on, air filter assembly, like this, and we're going to go ahead and tighten it down. So for the fuel lines, the long one's got the filter on it. We're going to go to this one right here with the long one. So we just bring it up to length, cut it, and stab it on like that. This one's your return line, which is the shorter line. We're going to bring that around to length, cut it, stab it on. Good time to figure out if we've got the lines on the right way. We're going to put some gas in the tank. And we're going to prime it up. If it doesn't prime up and you see fuel or a foam coming out of your fuel filter back in there, that means you got them backwards. Just switch them around. Makes mine a little rich just so you can see it. See it's pulling it up. Primed. Perfect. All right, gas cap on so we don't spill any in our laps. All right, our throttle's working. We need air filter now. Comes with two of them in this kit. Just gonna go ahead and pop that on that, like that. Then we're gonna put the air filter cover on. guys this help you out in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i'll put the parts in the description below just click the link if you want to do any advertising through my channel message me i'll be more than happy to have you peace